What's up everyone? Today we are doing the how to speed up your Galaxy S3 guide. This is a very efficient and this is a 100% working guide and this will actually speed up your phone. Don't be fooled by the guides to increase the animation speed. It will not do any effect because you will also still have some memory, some stuff you're not using. So actually let's do and start this guide. So uh, we're going to SD made first. In SD made first, go to Corpse Finder. Actually, I don't have any of these now because I previously cleaned this. You see this updated courses. Actually, you need root access for this. If you don't have root access for this, please don't use this as because it will not take any effect. So list is empty. Uh, Corpse Finder. It's a tool for removing all corpses left behind uninstalled apps. So go to system cleaner. This one is actually very very good. The system cleaner uh, we have some stuff to clean. So I have the empty directories and the gallery thumbnails. Everything you see here actually you can clear except gallery thumbnails because gallery thumbnails you will need them. So the next step is to app cleaner. App cleaner is the most powerful tool here because it cleans the app, the memory you're not using, and this is cleaning the temporary memory of every app, not just a few apps, because every app. You see, I only have 1.57, so I'm gonna clean everything here. Okay, and finished. So we can leave the SD made now and to clean all apps so next step is the lag fix the lag fix premium is just a system run actually also you need the root access for this you'll see you will be asked for the root tracks run and you can see it's finished some devices may need reboot this device doesn't need that so we can see here it's very smooth and without increasing animation speed everything is super smooth and very fast. You can see here everything is very good, very nice. Phones very very fast now. So this was the guide on how to speed up your Galaxy S3. Of course you need root access for this one. Because if you don't have root access, you can't change some things and you can't do this guide to speed up your phone. Actually, this you should do this uh, every 7 days or every week, every month. It depends on how often you use your phone and how often you use apps that requires a lot of memory and makes a lot of temporary memory. Thank you.